Good evening. Welcome to the Wednesday, November 29th, 2017, Selectman's meeting here in the municipal offices in South Deerfield. Um, the first thing we're going to do is announce that this meeting is recorded, and then we will do the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, we have minutes from the previous meeting, November 15th. I make motion to approve the minutes of November 15th, 2017. Um, there was just a couple things I, um, I'll second it. Um, and just, just want to um, correct, the Chris Curtis invitation letter was for January 24th, not the 30th. The M MVP meeting is the 24th. Um, and the only other thing I had was just, it seemed like that sentence that Wendy would be, we just should say that she was available. By phone or Facebook? Yeah, but present through December 7th through January 15th. Yeah, whatever. Just Where we'll was fix that? it. Okay. It just was a little confusing. Um, it said that Wendy will be deployed but present through December 7th and return on January 15th. So I think right. a deployed but available I see what you mean. Yep. would be yep. a little bit better, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, okay. Selectman's comments. Um, well, um, I have a couple of Selectman's comments. Did you have anything? I can't think of one right now, so go for it. I've got a couple. Sure. Go at ahead. least one. Um, so, uh, Wendy and I and other um, uh, we work with uh, Jessica Atwood from FurCog, so we had our meeting. I don't know if it was last Saturday, times ago, maybe a week before. I don't know. It's going by like this. Um, so we, we had a, a, a first really nice meeting with um, building owners, business owners in, in town, um, that, you know, just to kind of come in and start thinking about how we can, you know, work with them, improve our appearance of our town, improve our um, working with our town, um, all, all kinds of different ways it was a really inspiring meeting um it's just a first step we're, certainly more people we want to bring in and talk to but it was just kind of a first coffee and donuts to kind of and we sat around and jessica kind of talked about her grant and what she's doing for the town of inventorying all the buildings in town you know really we're focusing on downtown right here just this elm street and kind of walking around the yeah. different buildings um you know how many are vacant which are not very many you know what we could do with the vacant buildings how we could help promote business we talked about um the position that wendy's and I think many people have talked about of the having a planner um and they you know people feel that'd be great to promote our town and um and work with our our different departments and people that come in and want to start a business or um do different things one, one of the one of the things that came out of that is to kind of work with that lot that we have that's open right now behind Elm Street. Mm -hmm. So one, to improve Perfect. Elm Street. So visually, when you're pulling out of the New Cumberland Farms and you look to your right, you get invited visually down into our town. Um, and then, you know, kind of make it a place where people w want to come more than they do now and uh, visually accessible for, you know, walking, um, and then, and I then, I'm so excited. This oh, is it's wonderful. great! It's yeah. really great. It was really nice. And then uh, it was to hear from the people who own the buildings on Main Street and the businesses, um, businesses and, and and the owners, how how we would use the place a little better and and kind of develop that back lot that we own that goes kind of back towards Berkshire Brewing and maybe extend that parking lot further and permit parking for the people that own those buildings so that we could take some of that parking on street, put it in the back, um, maybe make a, a pedestrian walkway between Elm Street and one of those alleys to that part, uh, to that area. Maybe we'd have some benches there and, um, you know, it doesn't have to be lighting. paved right away, some lighting, um, but maybe even TRG down first to just kind of, kind of invite that. And maybe, you know, a lot of owners said we would develop the other half of our building if we had, 
you know, a, another kind of street front or a parking lot. So I, I would look kind of for um, trying to do the the green, um, you know, the mm -hmm. yeah, that yes. she mentioned. She talked a little the bit about the pavement stuff. That. Yep, there's there are grants for that. Yep. And, yeah, and you know what? And that would have limited impact on drainage, mm -hmm. and we would get credits towards you know in case we have that MS whatever coming sure. down yeah, on yeah. us. And and uh, you know it's just it's. Um, Really, it would be like a good thing. Yeah, so, I think it would. And that way, we could do it without costing money either. Cause, exactly. Cause, Just right. But, we're looking but at it ways would look great. Funding. You could have lighting. You could have solar lighting. You could have uh, sure. pavers that are you know perimeter, uh, you know that permeable. Yeah. Permeable. Yep. Right, and everything would work out really well. It yeah. Would be nice. So be attractive. It, in oh, conjunction, man, that's really good. it was good. And in conjunction with that, um, you know, Jane Trujillo is heading the um, ad hoc committee on the common. Mm -hmm. I think she has a couple more people that would like to get involved yep. with that. We were talking that. about pointing that. Tonight. Oh, great. Um, so kind of kind of grouping this all together that, so we could kind of improve the look of downtown um, accessibility, all that. So start, you know, some of the things we heard is like, oh, great, another study. We've done this before, the complete streets, and nobody does anything. So really, we're anxious to take action, even small things at a time, but efficiently, cost-effectively. People don't understand you have to jump through these hoops, and every time they the governors are. change, mm -hmm. their programs change, yep. and we just have never been able to catch up, and yeah. that really and I is think what we need to do. With a shot in the arm, speaking of Jay now, um, so we, we would love to, you know, work work with that committee, kind of just kind of keep keep talking with different people and getting these this thing rolling. Some of the simple things of getting that, that parking lot extended and some lighting and maybe some benches in and... Um, the building owners would talk with, about making a pedestrian way between the two or, you know, there's just different ideas of that, but definitely improve the sidewalks. They're a trip hazard. We have, you Huge know, problem. visually they just, you know, so a lot of the business owners and building owners, what I heard from them is if you improve it, we'll then improve ours. And, and so they just want to kind of start seeing some of that stuff go on and, and it, you know, if kind of you build it, they'll come. So if you start kind of doing Absolutely. what we can to bring yep. bring that in and um, and whatever we could do bylaws wise to help people with their businesses, um, you know, we just want to be open to that. And the, and the planner I think would help a lot with, with that too. Yeah, so it was no, a good it was a good first meeting. Mm -hmm. and we'd love to kind of expand it, bring in more people, bring in you know the other the other. Some, uh, the some other. of the things that I I see too in that whole downtown area is. Is the improvement of the sidewalks yeah, and was lighting? Key. Yes. You know, uh, and yep. that's something that it's not outrageously expensive, and uh, you know we could move forward with. Right. Uh, I know myself when I I've gone to that Gianni Figs a few times, and when yep. I've parked down near Leaders, and that whole yep. sidewalk on that side of the street's not lit, right. and it's it is difficult to see because you have all yes. the cars parked there, so there's not yep. a lot of light. And right. You can see how some people would be uncomfortable. With yeah. Them. Yeah. So, so it's exciting, and we want to get rolling on, you know, even a little thing at a time, just start moving that sure. forward. That so sounds, um, That sounds fantastic. So it, was, it was good. It was yeah, I was, I was hoping yeah, we were going to have our report from Jessica of that meeting to hand out to you. Right. But, um, Not yet. If I don't have that by next week, and I hope we will meet next week, we have to meet next week, <laughs> um, get the tax rate set, um, I will have what I, she had as handouts at the meeting. Yes. Um, and get have them for, for you to look at, which were, yeah. was basically the gathering of information you already have, yep. not proposals going forward, but it Correct. would be nice to have the minutes to show. It was a very yep. exciting exchange. People couldn't stop talking. They were excited <laughs> to be here early yeah. on a Saturday her, morning. Her goal was to talk about what's been done, what information we have, and how best to go forward. And I think the primary, one of the key points she wanted to make that I strongly second is we need a champion, mm -hmm. um, you know, someone, it can't, it's, it's got to be a partnership with the town. And then we can go forward like Sunderland did and got a Complete Streets grant that, you know, is doing a lot of the kind of work yep. in their um, center, I think, yep. <laughs> as opposed to we've got a real downtown, you know, that yeah. could use those sidewalks over and over. How many yes. times? Oh, How many times constantly have we hear heard it. about yep. that? It needs to be done um, and addressed. So that, we, that whole section key. of uh, Elm Street, too. That's it's what it, the yeah. town, so we don't have to deal with the state like we do on 116 true. Sugarloaf Street. You know? That's true. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's a good, can, good thought. Go ahead and do that. That's a, that's a good observation. Yeah. You know? yep. So it was exciting. That it, actually, I'm, I'm really thrilled. Yes. Yeah. We have, over the years, we've put in so many, so much time. Yes. We've had multiple grants. Yeah. 
to get started, but we've never been able to actually carry, get it moving. Get yeah. it moving every yep. time. There's a <laughs> well, you know, Jane, you know yeah. how it is. There's just every time just grab there's the just another whatever. hoop that we have to jump through, and everybody's looking for money for us to do the next step. And so it's really wonderful. It's time. Yep. I know. It's exciting. I'm really happy. Um, we're just, we're having just, just having, having some comments. At, we have a hearing just at 6 we have a, Yeah, we have a hearing in a few minutes. They're making so. their comments. Yeah, yep. and their um, announcements and stuff. And I, I just heard through the grapevine, um, Dylan Corpita is taking over as business manager up at Bement, and oh. he has. Um, I just want to say congratulations. Yeah, and he wonderful. has worked really hard on our finance committee before, so I, I think he will understand the kind of situation we're in, and yeah. hopefully well, we'll have be a good asset there. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have a good relationship with um, uh, well, another, one of the him. nonprofits. Hmm. So that's really nice. Wow. Um, I have a couple of Board of Health comments. <laughs> I, yes. Um, UMass had a huge symposium on ticks um, Monday before Thanksgiving. And um, I, you know, my tick yes. tubes, Yes. not really effective. Uh huh. Because <laughs> um, they, there's too many other critters that come into your yard that carry ticks, like chipmunks and squirrels and stuff that like don't that. Don't nest with that. So, they're still worthwhile doing and putting in the wood piles and stuff where mice are, but mm -hmm. it's not going to keep ticks out of your yard. And, um, what other but thoughts do they I, have? It, uh, well, uh, the city of Cambridge canceled a $90,000 um, order for these things. Wow. To pre made they things. ordered them? They were going to order them. And, wow. Or they had ordered them, and they called that day and canceled the order. So uh, at least... I'm just using toilet paper rolls and telling people <laughs> to make them. So they, they're also a city, so they're not as yeah. filled with the larger animals. Right. Well, something. they have a lot of squirrels and chipmunks. So yeah. anyway, it was a very good discussion because that that isn't going to work. But what was really interesting is they need more research, but spraying straight permethrin in your yard um, seems to be really working. And okay. anecdotally, um, Greg Lewis from the FERCOG mm -hmm. Um, his nur his child's preschool in in Northampton, um, you know, had was infested with ticks, and the wow. poor little kids were having to do tick checks all the time. So he sprayed their yard and um, eliminated the ticks, and then they started coming back. So he thinks it has to be done twice a year. Yeah, twice a year. He did it in the spring and then late in the summer, and um, you know, for the fall. Yeah. Um, and that seems to be what people are discussing, but they weren't able to give us enough information. There hadn't been enough research if it's once or twice. Yeah. It does. It has a tendency to sit on the dirt. And so okay. if you mow your lawns really well and then you can spray your, the, the, the boundaries of your yard, hmm. that might do it. So anyway, I was going to have Greg come up and show me how, how he did it in his place and at the nursery school yeah. So for this next year to see if it works. But I had a thought when we have our working group, you know, on the Mosquito Control mm -hmm. Board, I, I was thinking, you know, for 50 or $75, then you could have someone come from the Mosquito District and p spray your yard. Mm -hmm. and, and that would be a little revenue stream for supporting the Mosquito District. Carolyn, can I ask you a question? Because you wrote up what I've been thinking about, having just written the next grant for this. Right. Yeah. Can the Control District also deal with tick issues? Well, oh, absolutely. That's why... And, and other infestations. When, when we, uh, you know, you have to nominate your um, commission members, and the and DA, uh, the Department of, of Agriculture, interviews everybody. But the member towns nominate who they want on the board, commission. There's mm -hmm. going to be five members. And the commission makes up the rules. So hopefully whoever's on there will it's be, interested in that. you it know, is such it's a voluntary, major voluntary contributions. And, but mm -hmm. just as we have moved to all hazards, we can just, this is a bug district, not mm -hmm. really the mosquito district. But you have to have the mosquito district to get money in right. a public health emergency. Yeah. And that was why we wanted to set it up because, you know, we're so concerned about Zika maybe. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, that kind of stuff. And so the, any money coming in from the federal government for a public health emergency has to go through the Mosquito District. Right. So if we're going to well, get least, money to, to fight this or any kind of other public health like Triple E or anything, you've got to have some kind of mechanism to, to, to participate. So we're setting this up, but we, 
the commissioners, whoever it is, can decide what you do. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things, obviously, is you want to make this as cheap as possible or have the least financial right. impact on all the towns. And so I was thinking this could be like a little stream. revenue stream to support the overhead mm. would be to do this because it's once or twice. I mean, there is going to be more research. Yeah. But UMass is working, and this is a way you can get UMass into the district because, you know, that was what we were going to, you know, whole intention was to have seasonal help, cheap seasonal help, you know, grad students help um, to hire and then for testing and then have the lab do the, the testing of the mosquitoes mm -hmm. cheaper than DPH. Right. So, you know, we got to we got to sort that out in the next couple of years. Um, Speaking of um, so it just, seemed like a good thing. Yeah. And you, you just when you brought up UMass, it, I just did I hear something about a meningitis outbreak? Yes, there um, meningitis. Yes, they have and a gonna do meningitis B outbreak at UMass, and people should not panic. It's meningitis is spread like, you know, kissing, mm -hmm. yeah. sharing, you know, um, utensils, water yeah. bottles. You know, you have you have to have a fluid kind of. <clears throat> there exchange. was two people, yeah. out of twenty three thousand. So. Right. I well, know. Why they call it an outbreak, though? Well, it's because you. They what they did is all the close contact people they treat with antibiotics. So I see. So they can though, get the surround. Yeah. So so you have kind of clusters thing. and yeah. and you treat them and okay. but it is very serious and and you know people panic and it, it really is not necessary to panic because it be as treated. long as you use good hygiene it's just like flu yeah. as long as you use good hygiene <laughs> you wash your hands. And you know you carry wipes around to like on the grocery carts. Oh, wipes, not wipes. No. So, <laughs> right, wipes do not wipes. flush. Right, the wipes. Oh yeah, don't flush. Them. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but you know what I mean. I had one other thing I just wanted to mention before I forget was the. Um, uh, I had a chance this week to go to the senior center for their. Uh, for their oh, lunch. Oh how for wonderful. For their Thanksgiving lunch, oh, it was really nice oh, to sit with them nice. and talk and. Um, just see everybody come together on a meal and Bobby C was there after for some music and they did some raffles and it was really really nice to spend a little bit of time over there and, and uh, oh see that's all so, so nice I really I was they cleaning do a great my house <laughs> yes yeah, I can imagine after all the company right yeah <laughs> so um, good. I, I don't think anyone's going to show up for um, Berkshire Brewing so do you want us to um, we can wait another minute yeah. I, I have just one more thing to say yeah. um, at my Homeland Security meeting um, Tuesday we had multiple um, reports from the emergency manager uh, person and the highway DPW person, and they all talked about the weather. Um, and their consensus is it's going to be a milder winter temperature-wise and average, you know, uh, precipitation, whether it's rain or snow or whatever. But hmm. that means because it's a dash warmer, it means more ice. So mm -hmm. I just, whether you believe those weather long-range forecasts that they've checked multiple different ones or the farmer's almanac that says we're going to have a hell of a winter <laughs> just be prepared and to stay home for a couple days make sure you have medicine ahead your medications whether it's for you or your mm -hmm. animals or whatever um, just be prepared if you have to stay home for a couple days and uh, so in other words go out now stock up on toilet paper so you're not out on the streets because you don't have toilet paper or some silly thing like that and um, just be prepared. Kevin will Great. keep the roads going and yep. the roads open as best as possible, but it does not make sense, and there's nothing you can do when we have ice on the roads. So just be prepared. Something to add to that. Um, the Wellness Committee, along with um, Lisa White, is organizing with uh, um, EMS for our employees a CPR um, oh. AED, uh, Great. it's not a certification course, it's a basic. Just a basic. And also some safety involving the chief, perhaps um, safety issues around your workplace issues. Oh, do you have that scheduled yet? I think she was looking at the 13th of December. De December 13th? Yeah, I thought it was going to be in March, and the last I read it was December, but you know, I'm not certain. Okay. I, have I just, okay. oh, go ahead. I have one more announcement that sure. I, would, I could, if I could make. Um, the Recreation Department will be sponsoring a Sanders workshop on December 9th from noon to 3 p.m. at the Deerfield Elementary School. Children can make uh, crafts from noon to 3. Santa arrives around 12.30, and a magician will perform at 1 p.m. 
Children will also be able to make a card for a veteran uh, and register for a phone call from Santa. Please bring a donation uh, for the Western Mass uh, Food Bank. There will, um, there will also be a snack bar. The cost is $5, and each child will receive a free cookie and drink. Um, the also, um, for the Recreation Department, ice skating at Eagle Brook for Deerfield residents will begin on uh, December 3rd from 5 to 6 p.m. at Eagle Brook Hockey Rink. Families may also register by November 30th for skiing at Berkshire East. Uh, the program will be for six weeks beginning January 3rd on Wednesdays from 4 to 8.30 p.m. There are a variety of lift, lesson, and rental packages available. Um, and then basketball registration for grades 1st and 2nd and 7th through 12th will be held on Monday, uh, December 4th from 5 to 6 p.m. in the recreational office. Um, more information about all our programs can be found on the town website. Great. Well, thank you for remembering to do that. Um, well, well, we'll go ahead and have the um, hearing. She's going to give uh, Gary Bogoff a call. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, then we can wait a little bit. How about we, um, why don't you both come up and you want to talk about um, the town commons committee? Uh, no, I would just like to have you um, approve the three people who asked to be on the committee. It's actually, I think we only have two names. I sent you three. Well, um, one is Kate Snyder and the other is Catherine Snyder. And then I sent you an email and saying Greg Franceschi and I gave oh, you right. the address and all right. of that. Okay. And we know him, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh Greg, yeah, is know Greg. Yeah, Greg. Greg is fine. Greg is wonderful. Um, let's see. So I have it here if you want me to. Pam oh, Hutchins. Oh, yeah. Dynamica, okay. Dynamica, um, motion? Yeah. Yes. And so I would make a motion to add um, the following people to the um, Ad Hoc Town Common Committee. Um, Chaired by Jane Trujer. Uh Pam Hobgkins, um, she's uh, president of the, um, of the Lions Club. Uh, Kate Schneider, uh, local resident, and uh, Greg Franceschi, Franceschi. also local also resident. Also local resident. North, North Main Street, and yep. Kate is on Sugarloaf. Oh, wonderful. And Pam is we'll on one, Greenfield right? Road. Yep. I'm um, voted. Second. Second. Okay. Um, Kips seconds. And is there any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor? Hi. Hi. Two of those Please. people came to me. Wonderful. Well, I that's think that's exciting. fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It's really good. Did you see the um, the recorder uh, editorial one day? Had a whole editorial on the work that I happened. Did. Yes. I did. Yeah. It was great. I thought he was stealing my phrase, but in <laughs> fact, he was talking about what I was <laughs> uh, designed by elimination. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's nice. very nice. Okay. Yep, it's looking good. Thank you. Well, now I'll move forward. Great. Thank you. Do, do you want to do you want to give an update at all or? Okay. We have new members. We're good. <laughs> we'll meet up. It's wonderful that we have people that are interested in doing so. Stuff. I, I, I think I it's fantastic. I, I would like to um, add my support oh. for having a what did you say? Um, someone a responsible? No. Uh, Part of town planner. Yeah, but you gave it another word, a, uh, a person committed, involved. A champion. A champion yeah. for something. And this is a paid champion. That's okay. That's good, too. No, they last well, longer, don't they? No, we're actually talking, <laughs> I'm talking about a, a community person who's the champion. Oh. In, 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 particularly in the business community, but, you know, someone. Who yeah, I have all the files of the Sugarloaf Business Association oh, that uh, started up and stopped several times. Yes. And... Uh, I have them to pass on to somebody from the last time it was active, which was in around the time that Steve Upton built his houses. Mm -hmm. Great. So I he can pass in, them on. He was invited, but I didn't hear back from him. <laughs> he might have been traveling. He's busy taking photographs. Yes, beautiful photographs. Uh, I, sorry, I have all these announcements. No, can no, I make no. One? Yeah, no, it's one great. More. This is for I the think South, it's fantastic. Yeah, this is for the South Deerfield Women's Club, uh, the Deer in Deerfield campaign. Please join the South Deerfield Women's Club in our campaign to celebrate the winter holidays by prominently displaying lit deer throughout the community. Residents and businesses can participate by simply placing deer in a location which will be visible from the public way. Um, our ultimate goal is to create a festive winter scene which can be shared with family, friends, and patrons. The Deer in Deerfield campaign will be kicked off with our annual tree lighting on the town common at 4 p.m. on Sunday, December 10th. 
Music and snacks will be available. For additional information, uh, please contact Deb Dekos uh, at 665. Dacious. Dacious? Oh. Yeah. Dacious. <laughs> Thank you, Deb Never. Dacious, at 665 6606. Um, let's, together, let's work together to build community spirit, showcase our beautiful town, and spotlight the Deerfield name this upcoming holiday season. Again, wonderful. It's a great idea. I love it. Love it. It's sort of related and a little bit on the town planning piece, too. There was a, a, um, a, a request from a few people that we really need more crosswalks on Sugarloaf Street, that it's a dangerous crossing. There are no crosswalks around where the Daily Lily is mm -hmm. or where the um, yes. bus stop up. is. Yep. And it's the worst it location. Is. And at one point, um, the people at the Day Lily and I were talking about having a joint openings, art openings. And you know how Northampton has an a arts walk? Mm -hmm. Well, we said we really can't have an arts walk. We only have two places. So how about an arts crossing? And the idea was that we would get one of these signs that shows a deer, deer mm -hmm. crossing. <laughs> and put it up between the two things. And so that reminded me, can I encourage the town to think about safety issues? Yes. And we need we do, we a crosswalk are. someplace on that span. Yes, we well, have. Just, between, between, just to let you know, there used to be a crosswalk that went from about where the pizza place is, Primo Pizza, which was then the drugstore, went straight across to the common. And then there was another one that turned diagonally a little bit and went toward the old town hall. Nobody ever used them. So there was a point where they were going to start ticketing people for not using the crosswalks, and people just kept going, so they stopped maintaining them. Well, in, in, the, in the plan that we worked on mm. for the town common, I'd like to point out that the crosswalks, the walks, not the crosswalks, the walks that are in the town common yeah. represent uh, uh, they, they, they represent where the building openings were that, and the buildings are no longer there. Right. For instance, there's a walk that goes into the middle of the sidewalk, into the middle of the street, facing Cumberland Farms. But when it was Putts Block, it was facing the main entrance right there. Uh -huh. And I, 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 I will be working with our committee and with um, Kevin to restructure a walkway through the town common so that because there is no sidewalk there right. to walk from let's say the bank the the old bank yeah. to uh, Jerry's place yeah. so people are walking in the street and there's uh, then on the grass you know it's not quite clear what you're doing and I requested I said I think we need a walk between the corner of Grave Street and the yeah. town common because that is the most commonly used crossing that is not marked. Mm. Yeah, from but I'm also what I was came up for was to say that further down the street on Sugarloaf, um, Daylily, uh, the the garage, Fishers. someplace, yeah. the the bus stop. This is like constant. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. We we're, we'll keep working on it. I have I have excitement that Trevor's going to make something happen. Here. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, he'll be coming. He's mopey at the meeting tonight. Um, okay. So we can just he, go ahead? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I know. The notice is hereby given in accordance with the provisions of MGL Chapter 138. Wait, I'm sorry. That's that? The Deerfield, this is the, um, oh, what? the pouring license? Yeah, that we're skipping over it. He's not going to be here, and he didn't, he has to mail this information to the abutters and oh, it wasn't done. Oh, oh, okay. So we just found that out. He that. went and called him and um, so this is okay, so um, we'll skip it. delayed okay. um, either next week or two weeks depending on what she works out with him. Okay, okay. then we'll just go right to your um, town administrator report. Um, well, um, I did, this is um, sort of added to the agenda. Uh, as you know, um, the sewer, you signed the sewer commitment forms and the sewer uh, rates were set and bills were sent out. We wait for Eagle Brook to send us their readings and it usually does take some time to get them and finally we got them. So now we have an, a separate commitment form okay. just for them so that we can send the bill to them. Um, do we have to vote on the commitment? 
no, because they're paying the rate. It's just the rate. That's just. Oh, okay, so it's just a separate. It's just, yeah. Okay. Um, but, we'll sign it. All right. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, they were looking at, I understand this, uh, they were looking at separately metering, but given, I think, the plan they were looking at versus, and the cost involved with that, um, it, it may not be worth their while, and we may just continue doing this. Okay. So, um, let's see. We, um, as long as we're on the sewer things, um, I just wanted to say that I, I went, I was concerned because you were concerned, Kip, um, and I did talk to Barbara. Um, I went in and um, it, it seems like it will be less than a couple thousand dollars. It won't be that much money. And, um, cool. but to do the sewer rates, to switch the sewer rates. So, but to, to redo was, the software. So, but the software people need three to four weeks. So, um, um, when we called and talked to them. So, I would like to give it six weeks. So, if we want to have the rates set by Halloween, then you, then you give them, Barbara has to fiddle around with stuff and she needs a little bit of a budget. Mm -hmm. And then the software company needs, say, say we do six weeks. Six, eight, so so we're at progress. the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. So they told, told you that they needed several thousand dollars to do it? No, 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 oh. no, no. It, it will be a little bit of money, but it doesn't sound like it will be a lot. Okay. That's why I said a little budget. Um, I, I, it was my impression that it would not be more than a couple thousand dollars. Um, but if we so we need to sort things out by we need to have our sewer study done or whatever we're doing for the sewer decide what we're doing and then we need to work on the rate rates and have the rates set by the end of the summer okay mm -hmm. so i mean i'm just thinking for the yeah, timeline no, makes sense. because yeah. we need you know we had talked about this and that you can't do it like a week before we're supposed to set the rates we have to collect the money so um Looking back, we have um, some. We have to work on this over the summer, mm -hmm. and so I just wanted to make sure, run that by you, if make sure that you were okay with that, Kip. As far as if we do the study, then we're going um, to be. Are you mixing in the? This. Are you mixing the sewer study committee's findings in with this, or? Well, we have to do the study to find out. Are, are we going exactly. to do the management area, or what? I mean, how are we going to structure the rates? And then we got to work on the rates, and because we have to structure the rates based on what we're going to do, and uh, you know at this point we still don't know what we're going to do, so we can't. I mean, you can't have a. You have to have a five-year or six-year plan. Right. And and uh, and and know what we're doing, so we have to do this sewer study thing. Well, we'll but we'll we have to sort out the rates over the summer. We'll we'll complete the sewer study, but that's going to take some time. I I, I hope that we would have it by next summer. Uh, that would only give us um, a, a lot of information. We right. still have to decide on what we're going right. to do. Right, but what, that's what I wanted to just check with you on the timeline thing, because we, yeah. you know, we had a lot of this discussion last meeting, and I, yeah. and I didn't want you to be upset, because so I tried well, to, to sort this out just so that we have a timeline, we can agree on the timeline for this coming year. And, and to me, it seemed like we had to have the study sorted out by the beginning of the summer, and then we can discuss the rates All right. for, well, uh, for a few meetings. Okay. I mean, because sure. I'm sure there are going to be some discussion. Right. But then we have to have, we have to make a decision really by the end of August, the beginning of September, if we're going to have the rates done by Thank Halloween. You. Thank you. Right. Wendy, have you uh, had put any? Put this with the warrant uh, because oh. it will go back oh, to. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So have you had any more? Uh, Josh? Conversation with Josh. Yes, as we've far talked as quite a bit. Have you created? Yeah, I have something uh, new to. It's okay. it's vastly reduced. We're would gonna, you say that that would be something that would be ready to go by the first of the year? Um, I'd like to send it out when I get back. Okay. Indeed. Get it to some, right. you know, the, uh, the group of engineers we've so identified. So realistically, we're not going to be hearing back from anybody till probably February. Then it's going to take us a month to decide, you know who we're going to go okay. with, mm -hmm. and then it's going to take them several Seven months, months to do this. So, you know, now we're talking already into June. And, th and when they complete this. I think it works, though. Yeah. yeah. And, and oh, when they, okay. When, when they complete this, they're going to give us um, kind of like what we have got from Weston and Sampson. You know, these are all the things that need to be improved, you know, and the, 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 the dollar amount is 
it's going to be very vague, mm -hmm. you know? Well, that's why I wanted to give us two or three meetings at least yeah. for us to, to talk about the rates and how we're going to set the rates up. Because what we're going to be doing is deciding, take the recommendations of the report and the committee, and then we have to figure out how, how does that translate into a game plan and the rates. Right. And that's why I wanted us to make this commitment or to talk about the timeline and then make a commitment to the timeline so that we're well aware of what we have to do if we're going to get the rates out and signed off by Halloween. I, I feel, I I mean, feel quite sort of certain that we're not going to have a definitive answer by then. But I think that as a group, we could definitely mm -hmm. start the discussions in August and wrap it up in a, in a few weeks to how we're going to proceed with that. Okay. You know. Well, except we need to give the software company, a, a, you know, according to, I mean, we don't need, to, they said three or four weeks, and I was saying six weeks. So we don't have to give them the six weeks, but we, no. we have to give them some time. So. Oh, I, I, I understand. I, I, I think three weeks would be ample time, but I have no problem if we can do it sooner. Okay. I actually yeah. think... Um, that part of the study because we wanted to have them guide us on structuring the rate and I think we can have that discussion uh, as uh, we're going along with I don't, I don't, in terms of what the rates going to be right. these people that we're soliciting to are mm -hmm. going to be more with the infrastructure and you know uh, what things need to be improved on uh, what parts of the plants might be obsolete to uh, you know deal with current regulations and new regulations going forward. Um, I don't know how much they're going to get into the, actually the rate thing. They, they could easily. I well, think. they can, but. But not, yeah, I mean, we, we just need a little guidance from them looking forward at what, well, you know, that they can keep the conversation going with them and figure out what are we looking at possibly as a, as a, as, as a, a dollar. Yeah, yeah. And how, you know, and phasing that in and making the rate structure over a period of time. I, I just don't have a vision of what we're going to do. And so I wanted, in my mind, I wanted us to commit to a timeline that somehow I vision what we're going to do. And then we figure out the rates based on what we're going to do. And we have time on that so that we're, it doesn't do any good to have a rat race at the end because no. then we're not, we're not making a good yeah. decision. No, this is all based on a- It is, yeah. but I don't think from my, our conversations in our last meeting, I don't think that I'm going to, or anybody's going to have specific numbers that you were looking for, because everything yep, well, is, is very vague. You know, it's it, it's as simple as you know, if you're going to improve an aeration system, that's going to have a fixed dollar amount. But if you're going to uh, go into infrastructure of pipes, say on North Main Street or something like that. They're going to give you a range from I 100,000 to and a million and because nobody knows nobody exactly knows. how what and, condition and I'm they okay are. with that, but I'm, I was talking about the plants, okay. and and, right. and we were talking about separating them. So well, we need to know what we were going to do in Old Deerfield, and then what we're going to do in because we only been talking about what we're going to be doing in South Deerfield, and you you've got to be able to justify rates. You're you're right, but. What we've learned from not oh, only Weston and Samson, but from our own employees, is that we have very similar problems at both <laughs> locations. And they're both plants of the same age. Um, you know, the annual flow from South Deerfield is about two thirds of what it is in Old Deerfield. You know, mm -hmm. so it, it, we're having more of the issues in South Deerfield. So it seems <coughs> to, you know, get that one going. I mean, right. you know, it's like, to me, anytime you have a problem, you, you got to start and fix part of it. You just can't change everything overnight. Right. And, no, and, and I know. That's but why I just don't have a. I mean, I don't. I, I don't have a grasp on what we're doing yet. And, and, and our rate structure should reflect an, some overall plan, even if it's parts of it are still vague. And and, and I agree with that. But my only um, concern going along is that we haven't had. Um, our rates have not been that expensive. Oh, I and know. They've I know. been they've been low so low that in, in and I, I shouldn't say it like this, but I don't know. The state laughs at us, saying, "You don't need money. I mean, if if you, you can't even charge, you're not even charging your people a, a fair amount for it. So, 
Right, Why not, should we you give you money? Why should we give I you already money went right? through that. Well, so, I think we're, all in, we're more in the ballpark now, now that you've raised it to, right. to right. 10. Right. But, but you see what I'm saying? And, and that's right. what, and, I, and you hear it from everybody, you know, last year when we had a, a fairly substantial spike in that rate. Yeah. So now if, if it goes up $40 and 40 you know, it, I understand it's still money. And, yeah. you know, but it's either we're going to get it on the front end and not pay interest and go waste our time borrowing the money, or we're going to spend all the money, borrow it, and then you're going to be paying it back with interest. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... Yep. I know. Got to okay. be prudent about it. But anyways, I'm, I'm fine with committing to August 1st of next Great. year, and we'll, we'll just, we should have a lot of reports back. Right. Uh, okay. I, I just you know, wanted to make sure that yeah. we had some kind of consensus on this, because... Uh, you know, we were going back and forth, and I'm like, you know, it's too late. We have to send out the bills, and we have to just do it. So related to that, uh, Josh Emmel and I, Josh, who's a resident of Deerfield, um, is uh, a non-voting member of the Sewer Study Committee, directs the water and sewer uh, functions of the city of Springfield. Very helpful. He and I have gone back and forth and um, in the same direction, but, you know, uh, come, we come up with a new scope. Uh, which is more preliminary. It's not really a scope. It's um, it's really to, uh, an invitation to engineers to come and tell us, you, the committee and the select board, to um, come in for a conversation and then give them a scope that you've seen. I gave that out last week. This is a little more tailored down. It's sort of get them interested, get them in, rather than tell them what they're supposed to do. This was Josh's advice, sort of invite them in to sort of tell us what they would do. Sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's a different level of scope. And um, that's mm -hmm. a copy for everybody, would one you? for each. Oh, oh it's only and one And he redid okay. that. And I just to have it yellowed where I talked with Kevin. I'm not really sure what else we would add there. He wasn't sure where it says other um, key infrastructure. So I want to get back to Josh with that. Because um, I mean, we, we're not really sure what else we would, if anything. And, and, in all honesty, Josh has been such a tremendous help to mm -hmm. us. Uh, I mean, he does this every single day and has been doing this for uh, quite a few years. Uh, you know, so uh, as he as he describes a lot of things, I just sit there and go, "Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either." You know, so it's fine. I I uh, really uh, think that it's great. So the plan would be to um, get this out when I get back and within a few weeks have folks come before the committee hopefully the select board full Where select board can them? join um my last day is this next thursday okay. and i i'll be back on the 15th of january which is a holiday don't tell anyone so i can be here by <laughs> myself and deal with it's things. a holiday exactly so i can come in and get my whatever i need to do i will be are you looking? So yeah, let me finish, saying, what, what let me finish this tomorrow. and we'll talk more about, Trevor and I will there talk more no, about our, I, what do you, I'm I mean, sorry. What do we you were just doing? holiday. Uh, it's, isn't it um, Martin, Martin, Martin Luther King's Luther King. birthday? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, mm. January. January. I, I was looking at February, I mean December. I'm I know, thinking, I keep doing that too. Yeah, so no, right. I can't go to your holiday party. <laughs> I, keep, I keep saying yes. I, no, wait. <laughs> so at any rate, so just to get back to this, the goal go would be to, to get this out to some engineers, <laughs> have them in, have a conversation, oh, yep. and then keep it going yep. and going Good. and going. Good. So. Yeah. Okay. Like it. Thank right. you. This is, this is um, you yeah. got a follow-up. <laughs> There's no January in that one. So uh, another thing, um, for some reason, uh, the board did not sign the contract with Weston and Sampson for the monitoring wells work. And we're getting a little behind schedule on that, and so that needs to be done. I think we talked about looking at other options for this work um, the following years. Um, I make a motion to sign it. I uh, second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I think that was, that was due already, is that? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Yep. I'll get it to council and uh, town accountant tomorrow, and the call can be made. Um, so I asked you um, to save the date um, for next 
Wednesday for a meeting, and I'm happy to announce that, in fact, we will be able to have a tax rate hearing and hopefully uh, get the tax bills out before and the 1st of January. And that's going to be at January. 6 o'clock? We'll have the, I'll start the meeting at 6, but we'll have the hearing at 6.15. Okay. Assessors will be here, I'll give their report, and um, I'll get it add in the newspaper. It's all prepared and ready to go. Fill me in. Fill you in. I'm imagining the town is going to go forward with a single I'm thinking they will. Right. Um, yes. But you'll have to take input and listen to that and yep. decide from there. <laughs> next Wednesday at 6, right? Yes. I'll, um, uh, and I... um, we'll talk. I'll have more on the agenda, uh, talk more about the budget, um, and we'll get to that Okay. tonight. I, I can just go right into that if you'd like, since that really is kind of next. I, I just want to let Trevor know that my, I feel pretty strongly about having a single tax rate. Yeah, there's kind I, of a discussion going on, of course, right now, right? Yeah. I, I, if you want to chase out businesses, then you can have a split right. rate. Yep. Or you want to capture some, some big businesses moving out. And Thank you. Want you. To nail them or something. But yeah. otherwise, it, it really, well, there is no basis rate. for a split rate okay. is being yeah. coming out. Okay. Conducive to business, business right. stand, mm -hmm. and and business doesn't cost us. I mean, they don't use services very much. We're not educating the kids, really. Right. So. Our big expense, seventy percent of our budget is school related. Right. So, right. it's you it you want to keep businesses in town, mm -hmm. and you want them to pay their taxes so that yeah, um, so we get that income. Yeah. So and they have, love to have employers and, and, and people. And one working. of the reasons we've had a stable um, town, town, um, town wide is because we had um, about a third of our town is open space farm, mm -hmm. a third is residential, and a third is business. And it so we still have a meeting yeah. on the 13th mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, we have anyway, a poll hearing that. As long night, as you're okay so with that, that's. I'm good. That's okay. Yes, I'll be incapacitated. You know, but you have to okay. Well, no, I know. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> but don't worry about it. I, I just didn't want you to feel uncomfortable. No, no, no. I think well, I, it's we just did that, that last I, year. I, so I actually do have a big opinion on it. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, makes sense. that is a good idea. Like, and I, other communities around that have split rates, you know, people, they don't relish. I, I mean, I know some people who sold a business in, in a neighboring community so who's been looking okay. as Deerfield or Hashville as an area to move their business when they employ 160 people. We'd love to have them. Yeah. Yep. They need they need to do some major work to their facility, which is quite old, and they're thinking, you know, why bother? Right. Come here. Yep. Okay. Um, go ahead, Wendy. Sorry. Oh, just I didn't mean to sidetrack the conversation. No, um, I just wanted to make sure Trevor I'll was okay. mostly use the next really? meeting to really kind of wrap up with things. I was going to talk. No, nothing new on New England Natural Bakers. You know what's happening. We're waiting, and, and we will see. Um, I will make sure, or you can inquire with town council while I'm away, or I can, because I will be not only access, accessing my email, I'll be able to access my computer itself and work would on you, documents. So. If, if we get the um, mosquito grant, would you let me know? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be the last to know. <laughs> no. Speaking uh, of grants, yeah. I, we just put in for a hundred thousand dollar grant for two technical assistance people for um, the conservation district to help with the equip program, which is all your, you know, conservation work mm -hmm. in the county. And I feel pretty strongly that we're going to get it. The match was provided by the Connecticut River Conservancy Group. Um, Andy Fisk right. was wonderful, and um, I think we should get it. And um, that will be extra money coming into town to help with runoff issues and conservation. So I'm really excited about that. We'll know in another week or so. So that's a good thing. So I didn't, I mean, I just reminded me of what I was working on yesterday. Yeah. Um, so tax rate hearing, we signed that contract. And yes, we will have, you will have a meeting on the 13th as well. Is that the next date? Is yes. that the following yes. one? Because we have a a legal yep. poll hearing, hearing that you need to have um, for um, an Eversource erected poll up. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting what road it is right now because I have many roads on my mind, Steam Mill and mm -hmm. a bunch of others. Um, at any rate, um, 
um, they, for new service. Oh, it's up on, it's near Keith Cross. It's near the corner of Keith Cross and people go, what's that? Nobody seems to know where that is, but you know where it is, so. Yeah. Um, and Hillside, I guess, I think. Um, so, I have your budget books yes, here. Yes, thank you very much. Starting them or getting them on the way here. Um, oh, I didn't look at I've been them. through. I mean, I didn't come in early. Okay, today. well, um, take them and bring them back when you come. Um, mm -hmm. Brenda is going to come next week with to the meeting. We'll talk about things, but what's in here are mostly your budgets, our budgets, things that we have control over. Uh, moderator, uh, I've spoken with uh, Attorney Graves, and he's quite happy with his stipend, so we're submitting the same stipend for that. Um, I don't know if you're, uh, we have the salaries for your board, unless you want to change that. What, do you have a question about something? Did the FIMCOM meet on this already? No. Okay. This your your it's 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 from us to them. To them. They, they will get these, um, but, but they, we need to sign off. What on they will first. what they will um, we start delivering it. over is what gets submitted from you we as a to, board. We just have to justify it. Oh. I, I understand you. they're meeting Tuesday. They're they're wanting to. Meet Tuesday. Did I just hear you say that we have to sign off before it goes to the finance committee? We should. We, we didn't should do that last year. No. No. I will, it, it's our listen. Last year That's, we had you know, no the staff. I worked up. We, we were lucky. Nobody's in jail. Nothing bad happened. Come on. <laughs> well, I took notes, um, and we, um, you know, come on. So Kip. remember this this document, <laughs> the budget document I handed yes. out. Task schedule and responsible parties re refer to that. Um, if you want it again, I will give you another copy. We can keep it right in the budget book, which okay. is what I'm doing with my yeah, budget. I think yeah, I'll probably do that. So. Um, you want to just peruse what's in here, mm -hmm. or do you want me to walk you through it? Sure. Um, just things to point out. Um, How, where? Why, why is some of the FinCom 2009 change in red already in there? Um, All right, what number is that? Uh, Read well, the, just OPEP funding. Oh, OPEP, okay. It is, we, Barbara, myself, Brenda, are highly strong, and our actuarial, and I believe our accountant, and DOR, and our, our bank, we really need to be funding that. Absolutely. It's, um, and we haven't. We, what, we put in 10, what did we put in last year? 10 um, or 20. 10, I we think. We put in 25. No, oh, that's, no. We that's put what 10. we're proposing. I see, and that's and frankly, the change, you know, the it's, it's really surprising to me, but I'm talking to my colleagues of other towns, many much, significantly smaller than us, and they're putting in a lot more money. Um, um, it, I, hur I, it hurts us on a ver variety of ways um, to not be putting this money to. in. And we, we are looking at borrowing, whether it's for the school or mm -hmm. for that building or for um, the library or whatever, and, and it's going to hurt us in, in the rates that we'll get from banks. They will consider so that in, in we, you know. We just, what happened is, you know, I felt we had between a, a million and two million mm -hmm. in um, liability, yep. and previous no, selectmen didn't, didn't agree with that. that. I will and talk more about it at the next meeting. I have well, some more can information I just so about that. Can ask a question on that one just sheet, just a to, um, for an example? On yeah, that give one me the sheet. account number. I'm floating oh, through a whole. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, a, it's a, almost like eleven. Uh, 11. It's the, I think the only thing in eleven. Tab eleven. Oh, it's in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I just did the first so draft. Today. 2018, we put 10 in. Mm -hmm. um, we have a 25 is kind of what might be out there right now. 25 is what I'm proposing. Great. What we're all proposing yep, from gotcha. the finance and then, department here. I was just and curious, that's, that's only because we don't think you'd even, ex you know, based on the pushback we got from the finance committee last year, you know, we would suggest more. Um, right. But, at any I think rate. we should do more too, but um, so it says uh, FY 2019 FinCom re recommended at 10. Is that just a that holdover? That should say 18. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, Brenda produces. Um, yeah. I didn't. I just wasn't sure. Like even on like our salaries, they say you know. Right. From zero I'll or check in like with that. her why it reads that way. It is misleading to right yeah. now as you're just, looking just at. Just for format. I'm not that anybody's made the decision. I think it, I'm I think just it, curious. I think right. it's just that it, that was a mistake. Okay. Because yeah. the one, rest of the recommended yes. are least in department there. budget. Yeah. Why is there oh. no, no salaries? I, I have nothing with Tomorrow salaries. Um, I don't know. Maybe they've already well, done that one. But the, all the other ones are blank. Uh, yeah, right. 
So that's what I mean. I just wondered if they met on what it. What number is that? I don't know. Maybe uh, they already have. Put their I don't know. Two cents in already. No. Okay. Just curious. Um, well, I, well, I, I think because the the final enough. decision Maybe. about the compensation so. plan hasn't been decided. You know, the the personnel board hasn't made a final recommendation. The select board, and you haven't voted on it. They've just made one recommendation without a, a to update. To keep, to keep the compensation plan updated by integrating a 2% COLA into the steps right. so that the plan stays active. Whether or not there'll be step increases, they have not made a decision to make a recommendation to you about that yet. Yeah. They are meeting Monday night. They're meeting Monday night. Right. Okay. So two of the members of the police department are, are in that plan, so that why there is not a salary amount in there. Is that your question? Was it about the yeah, salaries? There's, I just, yes. there's no salaries in this, so. Yeah. Um, so. Um. We are, uh, we'll be getting um, Fridays when uh, capital budgets are due. Um, and I can report back to you at your next meeting about that. And please look at this and formulate your questions mm -hmm. and concerns. Um, and all the amounts you want to raise. Oh, oh, Nobody's oh. laughing. Okay, so. These, <laughs> just so I understand this, maybe Carolyn could explain to me, under our, our canine control, mm -hmm. uh, we don't really put this together. We're just obligated to pay our right. percentage, correct? Correct. That's correct. Okay. It's his salary. Um, if he has um, increase in the benefit package. But that's nothing that we have anything to say about anyways. So no. We just pay 25 percent. Okay. Um, it, uh, I will say I, I've talked with council about most of this uh, is driven by the benefit package. Well, but I, I know that we, we just purchased a new vehicle or there was a new vehicle purchase. Mm -hmm. That's not on here. It's not on here. Nope. So how does That's that work? Because well, like I said, it was a handshake deal. We used Greenfields for three and a half years, and no, I get it. But how how is it funded? That's what oh, it, it, it's just when it's replaced, it, yeah. it's twenty five percent. So we just it's it's not in any budget anywhere. No, because it's they purchase it and maintain it. I mean, there's we, a little bit of a, where's should our, in our, town, our contribution? Where's our contribution come? I mean, shouldn't it be in here? Well, I think, I think we should probably Let me find put a out line where item in here for you know, whether we spend it or not, but just to kind of build up over, I don't know if you can do this, because I don't know what kind of fund well, this is, but if you could the, plan $1,000. Their $1, vehicle was 12 years old, around no, 12 I, years old. I get old, that, so. and I don't have a, a problem. Well, I mean, I have a problem with a new vehicle, but anyways. I, what I'm saying is, how, where does it account for the money spent for that vehicle? I, think it I mean, reserve, if, if it was, it was, was reserve, reserve No, but we still, was I understand. Reserve but let yeah, me, eventually let me we should, about that. I, think, um, I think to Kip's point, we should probably have a line in here where we start funding that, anticipating 10 years from now, they would buy a vehicle and we would have money saved up. And can you do that year to year or not? You could, but why well, I don't would know you, if that, that kind of I mean, no, we don't want it in our, yeah, well, um, it's like 700 yeah. bucks a year what, or something. Um, right. Well, that's what I'm thinking because otherwise you get people at a different committee saying, well, this came out of the blue. I well, know. Well, we should, under canine control, have that, I think. So let me... And she was true. away I mean, when this all happened. You saying, and it's true. I mean, so if well, the, and it's true because you don't know how long it's going to last. Right. Even if it was you only $10,000 in the finance committee did a, a tra balance transfer because it was unforeseen or whatever, well, the rec department could do that, the school department, you know, and it's like, well, you know, and know. to me it's, it's, it's seems like it should be, a, it should be in the budget and you account if, for it. Then if it's more or something like that because they had to get it sooner, then right. at least we had some I think it belongs it. under canine control, not... Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Not the, yeah. Let's, right. I'll talk about it. I, I, okay. I mean, the capital committee didn't want to deal with it because it was, you know, less. Somebody than, else's. Yeah. It was. It was. Well, it was less than ten thousand dollars. It was what was seventy eight hundred right. or something. Mm -hmm. So 
they didn't want to deal with it. And I, I mean. We would, would, would we want to plan for it anyways? Or just, just do a reserve thing down the road? Well, you would, I don't know. I mean, because it's not, I mean, I'm anticipating that this vehicle would last, I mean, the last vehicle lasted 10, 12 years. Right. So this would be like a 10, I would say this would be a 10-year 10 10 year vehicle. Because, mm -hmm. um, Makes sense. Um, he, the dock officer is really neat and tidy, Absolutely. good guy. Yeah. So Take care of his stuff. So he's not going to trash this new vehicle. So, mm -hmm. um, and... So it's not worth putting money away. You think maybe uh, we would either be in or out by the by the time they would need another. We could put in here that that we paid in 2017. Mm -hmm. We should we should somehow I have it. Right. So we paid our share of a new vehicle in 2017, mm -hmm. and and then make a notation that anticipate ten years from now. You know, somebody review this in five years or mm -hmm. something. Because yeah. you could start. Putting something aside in five, five years. years. I see what you mean. Not now. No, it's no, too small it's, amount. It's too small amount, and and then okay. you got money just sitting there mm -hmm. for ten years. Or I, I mean, you, you mean. wouldn't you wouldn't want you would because you wouldn't be getting interest on it. Yeah, no, it's just sitting there. I see what you mean. Okay, that's good to know. So I don't I don't okay. know. I'll, I'll go check into that. But just to capture it. The somehow. other thing I wanted to point out is um, I've talked to council about um, what we could we what it would look like to do a retainer. Um, arrangement rather than a fee for service, mm -hmm. and I'm um, looking at that. She gave me a. What's the advantage of that? Um, um, uh, we shied away from that. It's a gamble, and um, but her retainer amount was lower than what we've been spending, so I'm going to look at it more carefully. I kind of like this because I can track where I can still do it. I want to right. continue to track what where we're spending our. Money. I mean, I could make ten more categories if you look at our legal expense. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I, I mean, it is. I, don't I will know. come back with more. You know, she sent me a proposal just a couple of days ago, and um, we look at it back and forth every few years. We look at it whether to do a yeah retainer amount or not. I don't know. I, I guess uh, however you feel comfortable looking. I mean, do you have the handle on it? I do, but then you never know. You know, we sure. have personnel issues that need to go to council. We have all these contracts and host agreements and mm -hmm. all kinds of things. So, um, but I, you know, the proposal I saw from her included a lot more uh, items than I thought it would, we're, we're as gonna, opposed um, to extra pay. You know, hmm. extra. we're going to have legal expenses related to the marijuana place, but mm -hmm. I would assume that the marijuana. I mean, Could fund absolutely that. every dollar is going to be, be paid for that. by them. So, you mean out of taxes? I don't know. No, out of whatever our host agreement is, is going to be we're going to get reimbursed for that. Well, we're, we're waiting. Not subsidizing we're, that's anything. all up in the air right now. Right. So, um, I, I know. But I mean, I'm I'd, just saying. I would. That I'm going to see if I can have some information. Yeah. That we haven't anticipated, or we are anticipating it, but it would be like a initial. That would be a huge expense right away. I don't know. During your it's, it's ongoing at this with, time, so yeah. With your schedule for the mm -hmm. budget, mm -hmm. when, are, when are we supposed to meet with the department heads? And are we going to do that several at once? or? Th that is what individual? I hope you have a discussion about tonight. Yeah. Good. And right. since Trevor, you know, oh. weigh in. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little up in the air. I'm having surgery Friday on my hip and uh, I've been waiting 28 years for this so it's happening and um, this Friday this Friday Friday uh, Friday morning we're really hoping going to Boston. we'll keep our fingers crossed so, and our toes um, everything so I'm hoping to get um, I think I'll be in Boston for four or five days and then I'll be back home kind of moving slow <laughs> for a while um, they said the recovery is about 12 weeks but I'm hoping less time than that, I can at least get out of the house and get to meet. You stuff, know, so. um, when you feel like you, I mean, I'm, well, I'm sure we'll be in touch, but, be the, but you know, that was one I was just going to say. Uber, you get your Uber app? <laughs> I'll Uber you we in. can do any kind of <laughs> figuration you need 
Well, um, we can, can even, a horse if, in that. If you have thing, a wheelchair, I can put you into a box tr truck and bring you here in a wheelchair. Right on the yes, yeah. that'll work. Yeah. So no, I think I'll be a lot more mobile than uh, I just I just don't, it's all you up in the know. air. It's so strange, but um, to not have any real knowledge of what's going to happen, but. So I okay. hope I'll be back in a, in well, a few weeks, three weeks maybe. Let me just say that the budgets aren't due till December 22nd. Yeah. So I'll be back on the 15th. So we can, I think it would be good to talk about a schedule, mm -hmm. but um, we can start when I get back. Mm -hmm. You're not coming back till when? January 15th. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm hoping that we could meet before then. Mm -hmm. with the, you know, well, with the budgets department. aren't due till December 22nd, so it's only two weeks. But yeah, right. you could. I, I, yeah. Well, so, we can. Because I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of questions, and I, I think I'm going to hear. I need to look into that. I got to check. Mm -hmm. like sure. That, so. No, I encourage you to. I, do think, that. I think we can do something on the 27th. Okay. Uh, of December. December, because we're uh, we're going to meet the 13th. 13th and the 27th. And then 27th. Okay. So, so you know, well, we you can, can even have December the police 13th. in on the 13th if you would like, the poll hearing, and then have John come in on the 13th if you want to start conversation okay. about the police budget. I, I, I mean, I think Trevor. Because his is, the, his is already, he had it prepared already, so, so he's but, the one. I know, but with we, the exception of the uh, salaries. salaries. But you might know, you might, who knows uh, but by what then. We could do, what we could do is we could have, um, we could be a little bit earlier maybe. Okay. And, and, and then we can have Trevor here. Yeah. And then we could do police and um, highway. Okay. How, are we going to how would you another, have Trevor here? I think I'll be, I, I may be able to get out of the house by then. I mean, we'll see, but if we yeah, send it out, if not, then you two will go on and I'll Yeah, but I mean, I feel like that would be a give. You can watch us on TV and we can have you on the phone. That's so. right. Well, in worst meeting, case, in worst case scenario, but yeah. if we, so maybe we, you can let Kevin and John know that we'd like them to come in on the 27th of December. December. Um, okay. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. And that way um, we can start. And then if there's any, and um, maybe if you have any questions on the rest of the budget. Mm -hmm. I'll go through it. Try to get, get back to us for mm -hmm. the 13th. I mean, okay. I'm not pushing you, but mm -hmm. just. She's not pushing, but she is. She's pushing. Well, but, but only because I want us to be in a good position to when Wendy comes back, because yeah. we're going to have a meeting on, um, whoops. Are we going to have a similar type meeting with the school people? Like well, last year, we, it was like a combination of the elementary and frontier. Uh, are we going to do this a similar I, thing I this year? I think we need to f I strategize with. I just I just strategy. met with a superintendent um, before this meeting, yeah. and she's really anxious to um, be deeply involved in the budget this year. Yeah. Maybe you've had that conversation, Wendy, and all, but. Um, no, but I'm not surprised to hear that. Yeah, I think she's very anxious to look at this stuff deeply and what what we spent last year versus this year and. Uh, justify the budget narratively so we can you know she, she could really tell people what they're getting for their money how we're educating the kids what the needs are and where that where that money needs to go versus maybe where it went before so I think it's I think sh she seems to be more willing to kind of grab a hold of this and, and really get deep into the numbers on that so I'm, I'm I know she would love to come and meet with us so I just don't know the schedule yet and I'm gonna miss the I, meeting next week. I might be able to work on this with you while I'm away but mm -hmm. start thinking perhaps Carolyn because you've been through this so many times what might work for a grouping of the departments school you know we've already talked about highway and police how you would want library mm -hmm. seniors whatever you want how you want to coordinate that over the course of the next two months mm-hmm um, and finance is meeting Tuesday. Uh, Skip was in today. He, he said, what's our agenda? <laughs> I said, well, look at the revenues. So I, I brought that for you also okay. to look at. So. Um, but, and Kip also, but I, just because she's been through this so many years, I thought I would have a good well, sense of how to begin to, which tackle first and that kind of thing. Several different things. I mean, it seems like every year we... Do something strive to do something a little bit different that's maybe a little bit effective I think one of the things if I know you got so much going on between now and Friday but could you just remind um, the superintendent that the capital stuff is due December I already 1st? did mm -hmm. okay I did that because nothing has come in have I've talked to the I don't I've have talked to Tina yeah the elementary school they really want to just 
they want to add more floors because they're really enjoying getting that nasty carpet out of there yeah, and putting well, in the tile, a couple of area rugs or something. But I, I think they have budgeted and have money for, they've done one room already, third grade, that was really bad from all the leaking. They have three more scheduled to be done, but I think they that would be a capital request mm -hmm. they have to do. Well, I, I reminded them just a couple of days ago, Thank everything's you. due Friday, okay. because they asked. Just make one phone mm -hmm. call. Because, okay. well, they're just not very That's where responsive. we got into the, oh, we don't have the auditorium available for town meeting, and I spent, well, it's resolved now. Yeah. But I said it is every year for third, third, third several month. centuries. <laughs> Last Monday of yeah. the month. So, but that. Um, Thank you. So it's. A second reminder centuries. of the capital budget was due on Friday. Hmm? For several There's, centuries, <laughs> yes. This, uh, this revenue sheet is only is not including the real estate taxes. Where is it? Um, I think we have to wait till the. Um, oh, they rate. add that in, yeah. Also, also payments in lieu of, since I saw that uh, payments in lieu of taxes, uh, has the solar people on uh, 901? Yeah, they haven't. Did they get River that Road up? Fire uh, no, um, I'm in the, you know, got us all communicating mm -hmm. now. Just today, Ray Gonzalez, who's for Kenyon Energy, is saying what's going on in Eversource because it's one or the other they, comes they up with tried, some reason. They just tried to hook it up and it didn't go. Well, then it did. They tried again, and it did. But then there was something Eversource needed to do that they hadn't done earlier. So I'm monitoring that situation. Well, but, we can't collect um, until they get hooked up. So we got right. to do something hooked. What the heck is going on? Well, we'll extend so, the agreement. <clears throat> we had that 20 years from a date. I have John Coderre speak with council about that. Well, we're going to redo that agreement so it's 20 years yes. from the date that we they start, start up, and we don't so lose anything there. The number on this. Uh, Schedule doesn't reflect anything from them because obviously we didn't get it. Right. No. We, oh, right. We okay. don't. All right. Well, the next time we do a host agreement, just make a little note that we have some kind of phase in of taxes before. I mean, not collecting 100% until they're hooked up, but some kind of phase in because this is really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, it is, but I think the agreement was that we're for 20 years, and I understand that we don't collect until it's connected, but it just extends the time further out. Well, so. we need, it, 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 the language actually didn't do that, so we're going to change, we're going to fix mm. the language so it did. It pegged it, it made an assumption about it being open at a certain time, being, yeah. We were, we've already got that. In, <sighs> I know. Okay. The assessors thought it was already up and running. I said, no, it's not. Oh, so. It's a week-to-week -week thing, but it never seems to. So, yeah, take, a, take a closer look. Work on the kind of schedule. Wait a minute. What am I? Front end, who you want what? to come in. What's that? What am I, why am I looking at a 2015? Is that the CPA? No. This is just town revenue, 2015. Oh, no, this is CPA. Oh, this is CPA? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because we were going to. Oh, gotcha. We, gotcha. Were, we were talking work. about reducing the CPA, and it's a big process. Yes, I saw and that so email. And so we yeah, needed to. Um, I mean, because the match isn't 100% anymore ever since Boston joined Correct. In, yep. It, it just skewed, yeah, it skewed everything. And so. you, you did say that need to be done at a special town meeting? Um, no. I don't think no. so. No. It's special so get, or an annual. You can okay. do both. But then you have to have a ballot vote also. I don't know. That's all in your packet. I was, I was just <clears throat> told that you had to change it the same way it was accepted. And Correct. It was accepted at a special town meeting. That's the only way to change it. That's all. No, but you have to have a special <clears throat> or regular, and then you have to have a ballot. You have to have both. You know, you that's something I'll check on. I, I was thinking that you have to change it the way you accepted it, and then it's just statutory. I don't know if you have to change it at a special town meeting if you accept it at a special. I don't think so. But well, you just have do to do the town meeting and have a town ballot. meeting. Yeah. And then a ballot. And then, then a ballot. It has to be both. So the, ba so the ballot would have to be the same as in the meeting, Whereas it's it, we're not eliminating do, it, just reducing it. Right. You okay. Really. If you, you read what I gave you, um, I it's, it says it. Right. Yeah, it's in your packet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um. <laughs> okay, don't read it. <laughs> I read it before. I don't want so to eliminate it. it. Okay. It's just okay. it doesn't make sense because it's we're not collecting on it, so right. it doesn't make sense to collect. I mean, yep. to have the higher end, but I don't want to eliminate it. 
in well, look case at, look at what you lose need... if you go down. Sure. Yep. And and, and that, I have all that in there. Are you going to keep that to look at? And and the other thing we want to do is um, because you can borrow against this. And this, I mean, if you're borrowing, I mean, we don't really know what's happening with the church. We don't know what's happening about senior housing. No, we're move the seniors over to the community center, church well, community center. Extra coffee. How do, so <laughs> you, how do you borrow against it? Because you, 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 you estimate what you're going to collect in taxes and then what your match is, and then you could borrow against it. And so it would be cheaper than borrowing but if you, you borrow, went to bond. I mean, I'm just curious. So if you, you're borrowing against it using it as collateral, why would any lending institution give it collateral if they can't go after it? Um, I know? don't know how it works, huh. but it, one of the advantages of this is that you can borrow against the future. And so it would be cheaper than bonding and, and, and the cost would be very minimal. So, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just another tool to use. Mm -hmm. Should we just have a need of it, that's all. And then also, Steve Kulik is, this is one thing that Steve Kulik is really um, um, supportive of, and so he might come up with a new source of income. And then mm -hmm. if we get, if the opportunity is to have another 100% match, then it makes sense. Sure. I mean, the state is giving us dollar for dollar match. So right. why wouldn't we do it? There's a fair it? amount of this money that we're not really using, is it? Like the um, affordable housing or low income housing? I mean. That, yeah, but that's senior housing. That's I, what we were saving for. I, that's my kids we, are going to be seniors. <laughs> Believe me, I, I totally yeah. get it. I've been doing this. I've I, hundreds of meetings. I know. Well, one literally, thing, one since thing 1998. That I've been one thing I started this in 1998. What, you know how they changed the uh, few years ago? You couldn't use recreation money on land that wasn't that that. Was wasn't already. bought with CPA money. And we had all these failing old playgrounds around the state, and they changed the law to allow you to use it on pre-existing playgrounds. This is, so this so is I, like I've been pressing on this issue of allowing you to use this housing money on houses that weren't bought with or constructed right. with CPA. You know, to expand our, our senior, it's not just a senior program, but the CDBG money we get where we do housing rehab, to expand that to have like a... Um, and, a, and that a senior program seniors for in fixing their homes things, is right. a really, well, I mean, that's a really good thing to this, do. And, this, this and, is another good thing that uh, a planner could do. And, exactly. Um, right. We're, I don't know what's the proper term to use, but Deerfield has a lot of affordable housing, but it doesn't qualify in the state's eyes as affordable housing. And one of the big things is that you have to you do that deed restriction, which a lot of people don't like. Mm -hmm. And I think if we had someone who was very knowledgeable in that area could explain this to landowners and property owners, they might see it as a, as a good investment. I, I just happen to look through a lot, and I, and I see a lot of you know people I know that are getting up there in age, and uh, they put their um, homes in these uh, living trusts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, this deeded property, restricted deeded property, could go the same way and provide income for their loved ones for you know a long time to come and True. but they don't know and they don't understand and stuff like that and that way we wouldn't be you know someday forced into having low-income housing built and developed in the community it would already be the homes that are in here and people would and that's the right. whole point of having senior housing is you you know that counts as our it, it counts so, it right. right and that's a big thing yeah so anyway. So dropping this down to one, do, do they right now pay out the, the second and third That's round what, matches? That, that, well, it's interesting that it's, I was talking with Brenda about that because I said, why are they showing it as multiple year? Because right now she said they should get just one payment. So I, I'm not really certain about that. It would be that. interesting to see but what the payment is what was. But that was the 2016 income, um, you know. Okay. So. Obviously, we, we'd get more if we tax less yeah, well, you know right. um i mean get less if we tax less but the the matches um you know i guess you lose out sixty thousand dollars so you know you would have that year but i just wondered it'd be interesting to know did she actually get those um did we get those two payments yes yes oh okay so what we and, and what, what we i handed out that that was confusing <laughs> was what We've yeah. been getting more recently. Well, what we would lose would be six. Like last year, we would have lost sixty-five thousand if we were at one one percent. So, and the amount they're paying now one nine six six. 
six. Um, but it's dropped. Minus but four. You know, that's, I don't agree with the way you look at that. I mean, it is true that if it, that scenario played out, the town as a whole would lose the 65,000. But the individual taxpayers, you know, don't ever, the vast majority of them, of us, don't benefit from that $65,000 because it ends up being stored away or used, you know, something. And people go ahead and they, they buy things that, well, we've got money available to do this, you know. So, Kip, that's not true. It's very, well, it, it used. Didn't it we went, just spend $6,000 for a stone bench? <laughs> It, it, it goes towards, you know, it repaired the tennis courts at Frontier instead of having taxpayers, right. instead of having taxpayers pay for that, no, I, the state I, paid for I, half of that. I get that, and that's why I said well. some benefits. And the playground and the, you know, the, we are responsible so, for the cemeteries. I get are, are we, but, are we going to go and restore them? Probably not, but what a lost treasure. And, and we are responsible for them. So, you know, that, I understand uh, we, that, but what I'm force. saying is that when so you cut it down... So at least the state down, pays for it, half of well, it. Well, they pay for part of it, but going down to that 1% really doesn't, you know, hinder the town's ability because we're only, we are losing 2% on that first round. Well, I mean, you round, have to realize the steps on, um, you know, the library. The community yeah. uses the library. I, we I were able it. to restore the library. Um, you know, I mean, you, I, we have been squirreling it away. I, I, I understand why people get nervous, but you were squirreling it away because the stuff that we have to get done, like the, the church work or the senior housing, I mean, it's truly a drop in the bucket. I mean, it's going to cost two or three million dollars at least, and we have a million dollars. So, I, I, understand. I mean, and half of that, literally half is almost from the state. So you know, right now they're matching 53%. Right. This last year, well, since Boston joined, it had a huge impact. How Not, much was it in the last few years? Um, it was decreasing because more towns had joined on. Sure. But Those have previous years under them. Each sheet is a different yeah, year. And no, no, th th this, that one. Oh, oh this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it was, it was oh, decreasing. 15, but, 16. but when Boston joined, which was a year or two ago, it, it, oh, it smacked it. And, you know, it went down 20 or 30 percent. Yeah. It was only going down like 1 or 2 percent because the towns that were joining were like Conway and I forget the towns around here that joined after us, but it was little towns, so it had no real huge impact. How long have we had this? Um, for a while. 2004? I think that's what it says in the... Yeah. It was 2004. Yeah, we've had it for a while. 2007. We, no, 2007. 2007? Right. And, and this we, memo and we, I gave you that I, I sent an email asking them um, and we And we collected. Um, and, I, and we collected 100% for quite is, a few years. This is the memo we were one I gave you. First mm -hmm. communities. So there was more money than was taken out. And then everyone realized it was a good deal. And, and the bigger towns joined in. Mm -hmm. And that's what really impacted. But so it was they, really Boston that they would really, drop down to a twenty percent. Yeah, can it you, was really Boston. That would I mean, here's the key impact. information. I've highlighted it in yellow, and I just gave you another copy. Um, so anyway, when we started, what we got, what we put in locally, and what we've been matched with, almost. And we and we use it for open space, um, fifty fifty, or and so we, you know, the match that was required for open space purchase, and and that was good because that wasn't taxpayer money, you know, all of it, because those were big were big chunks. So, I mean, we use money over the years for good things, Kip. I'm not saying we don't. That, that's not what I said. I, well, know, I know, but... We do, the town does use it, but what I'm saying is that... And it has to be voted at, at town meeting. Right. When you, Everybody has to agree. When you reduce that down, the way this is, that six, what I'm saying is that $65,000, although it's a lot of money, it doesn't benefit the vast majority of taxpayers. You know, it, 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 it's it, for a, a very... It could be, if you can suit it that way, it could be, you know... Well, it a depends if, if we all if all the towns agree, and we use CPA money to do the, tr f you know, we can fix the track at Frontier or the, t the more repairs of the tennis court. I mean, we're not having to pay that all of that because part of that is a state match no. on all four towns. So I mean, I that is that. a benefit. Right, but you're missing the point. Maybe I'm not explaining well. If we reduce that down by that s schedule, you show the town could lose $65,000. Of that $65,000, well, much, more than, much that, yeah. more than that. 
Well, two hundred and twenty-two thousand. Well, the difference. Let's see. No, it would actually be like thirteen million. It would. It would be these match rounds, right? Six, it yeah, would be. We, what you're doing is you're just not getting the second. You're not getting the second and third round. That's all. So it's oh, about okay. sixty-five thousand. I see what you mean. Yep, yep. Yes. Kip's right then. And, and what I'm saying is, of that sixty-five thousand dollars, it's divided up into multiple different areas. Mm -hmm. And so, when you, once you take that sixty-five and you divide it into, you know, some goes to community or to housing, some right. goes 10%. to recreation. So, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. when you spread yeah. it up, that that number becomes smaller and smaller. And that that's so my point. Yeah. Not be that big well, big. there's you there's, are putting the money away for, like, say, senior housing mm -hmm. for one, but. The, the portion of what you're talking about, six thousand dollars, goes towards senior housing. That's what we'd be losing out that time. Mm -hmm. Well, most of it is seventy percent is not. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to put it in any one right. his group. Right. And so, right. I mean, yeah. that's you can but use is, it towards it, whatever. Historically, hasn't some of the even the nonprofit organizations tapped into that money to use for different things? Uh, we too? repaired the um, church steps up on. Uh, in Old Deerfield, but that you know, that the only, I don't the know. Obelisk, so, yeah, yeah. And, the obelisk and Mr. Statue, you know, you know I mean, there's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm getting used to. Him. Are you? Yeah. Well, when we first, when he was first in here, and you turned on the lights or were turning off the lights, it just, you know, you catch it out of the corner of your eye, and it was like, oh, kind of a little creepy, but you know, now, good vibes. He's a resident now. Yeah. They, he's, were they going to make a replica in Old Deerfield? Or not? They were going to do one, I but that I don't was, think. I miss seeing I it there. They, you know? I know, I do too. It, well, it looks. I don't think so, they were going. I mean, it's, yeah, it's nothing. They're not going to. I know. I don't think so. Well, whatever. Anyways, okay. Okay. Well, I think we've we got stuff to work on, on. Yep. and and we'll this. I'm asked Wendy to put it on um, the agenda for. Um, oh, I, where did I, I put it on my book? Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> the CPA should go on the agenda for. Um, it's on the agenda tonight, she says. Oh well, just as information. So you're going to be here the 15th. So let's put it on the agenda for the 24th of January, Key, and we can make a decision. We just have to vote it to move forward. Okay. You got it. So you can look at the stuff. Um, let's let's. Um, we need to. Um, <laughs> there's a couple. Uh, other things that we need to vote on, so I, I want to make sure we get those done before we get sidetracked again. So I, I, I followed up. Um, the special and yes. municipal employees. Yeah, I um, got the list from Priscilla and planning of all the uh, various consultants the various boards use and took off the big energy firms that they might, big, big engineering firms because it wouldn't really apply. These are usually one or two person businesses that need that special employee exemption. So you can actually say the name and the name of their business and make them, per, as you had said last meeting, Carolyn. Oh, can you make that motion, Trevor? So. Um, the name and, and just say uh, you'd like to designate them as special municipal okay, employees. Okay, so I, Say their names and the name of their business. So I make a motion um, to, um, for peer review consultants appointed as special municipality employees, November 29, 2017. Alan Weiss, Cold Spring Environmental. Bill Luttrell, Luttrell Ecological Consulting. Um, <clears throat> Alec McLeod, or McLeod, McLeod uh, Northeast Land and Water, LLC. Uh, Steve Johnson, Laurentide Ecological Consultants. Gregory J. Newman, Newman Environmental Services. Ward Smith with the Wendell Wetland Services, Sarah E. Campbell, uh, PE. Why don't you do? I had said then, you already designated yeah. Emily, but you didn't. You just you you did Wetlands Consultants. So why don't you do okay. Emily also? A Emily Stockman, Stockman Associates LLC. I'll second the motion. Um, and you want us? Did you want us to add? You don't want us to add anybody else, right? No, the, the others were bigger firms okay. that it just didn't right. apply. Is there any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So you have this in your packet, correct? Um, there you go. And then the frontier request? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did, who, who do we have that we can do? Do we have to actually recommend somebody today? 
They asked, we can they would like to know it. by December 8th, so you can. So let's just. But it came in, yeah. so I'm putting it before can we, you. Can we search it? Can you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trevor, can you and Kim yep. get together? We will. I just, you can find somebody who will okay. and sit on there. So yep. this is All right, I'll be fine with it. So okay. just whoever you recommend. Okay. So I will, because I don't know. Um, it'll be on next week's meeting then? Oh, yeah, we can oh. vote on yeah. the 6th. Because yeah. they want to know about Yeah, yeah. Okay. so just. It makes sense. Just if you guys could just yep. think of somebody to put forward for next week, and then we can, then Kip and I will we, vote it on are we, Wednesday. Are okay. we expecting to get a. Um, you were only talking about their, when we were talking about capital before, mm -hmm. the elementary school. Are we expecting? Do you think that we'll get something from Frontier for capital by uh, Friday? I don't know. Well, I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Okay. I mean, I, I think there's quite a lot of discussion as to really right. what's going on mm -hmm. there, too. I mean, there's no question they need to do something, but mm -hmm. um, um, I, I just felt that people okay. have, were need a long-range plan. Um, a little bit more thought, more concrete thought out. I don't know. I think last I spoke, they had they had maybe twenty five thousand dollars to fix that roof area, Kip, and then the um, they had about twenty five thousand to do the roof up there, and there was and they were getting some estimates in. They needed another sixteen thousand for the windows in that area, which they didn't have funding for. So, if I were them, I would put in a capital request for that, but. I don't know if that's coming or not. Well, so, I, I but I don't know who was who we, that bid was. That was just some information yeah, that I, I heard. I don't know what, what they're saw, actually going to do. I saw some of the information about the windows, and, you know, and, and I can see that needs to get done. Mm -hmm. And some of that, um, I, I, they call it roofing, but it's not really. They're looking about sealing all of the, the trains and the flashing that goes up against that metal structure and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then I haven't seen anything come forward to further push along the insulation, insulation over that. Which is, that the which is the biggest problem. It is. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. But it was funny because they, at that last time we went there, they all seemed kind of like, uh, they, that was the first, they said that it was the first that they had heard about that condensation problem. And there was like, buckets? What buckets? So when I showed them the pictures that I had taken on my phone, Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was actually dripping in the meeting. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. I mean, it was dripping right in front of me. Was it? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was sitting on the front. And it wasn't raining Wendy. outside either, was it? No, but exactly. Yeah. I we, just kept worrying that the whole thing was going to come Wendy in. Wendy and on. I were sitting in the front, yeah. not in the front row, but the second row. We were in front of all all the rest of you. But that's and, and it was dripping right there in front and, of and that, that chair. And that goes to show you exactly what I was but, trying to I tell I mean, them. but how unhealthful. That's not very healthy at all because no. all that is dripping is into the rug. Mm -hmm. And, and how, that rug isn't having an opportunity really to dry out. Right. I mean, it right. really, stuff needs to get done. It's just that I'm not sure it's in, organized in a way that we can all agree well, on. Not. I mean, we have they to get four towns. They have a subcommittee towns. together and they're, yeah, they're working we need to get that. somebody on there I to know. help guide I them know. through and, you know, offer our advice. Get it going. Um, did you have other anything yeah, else? The other thing was uh, Sunderland's uh, "Sign Your Life Away" parade. Yeah, so you have to give a first child. <laughs> I know. When you, a firstborn. <laughs> Take a look at so, that. T t so, uh, so Kip is in charge here. of this, from what I understand. Yes, Kip is getting a wagon together. <laughs> no, we were going to do this at Conway. Yeah, and yes, the Memorial out. Day parade. So you cannot back out this time. I won't. <laughs> You'll never be able to cross the bridge again. All right, all right. I, I will. I, I can. Uh, I forget what. Did, why did you, there uh, was something going on? I couldn't do it. I know. <laughs> Let's make a paper mache mosquito. Okay, this is not, <laughs> this is not in the order. Here's the cover letter. Um, oh man. They want to know by December 31st. Well. Well, definitely. When is there a break? We're definitely going to be involved for sure. June we we already 16th. made a commitment that we were going to do it. June 16th. June 16th. Yeah. We already made a commitment. So, Kip. For the next meeting, next, you you read, please read through this stuff, okay? I mean, oh Sign my gosh, there's away. there's two packets here. Oh there my gosh. There is two packets. All right. <laughs> well, don't lose it because we might. I, I was going to I was gonna read about the bridges. I thought that was more important. Uh, no, okay. you read about the parade. I can tell <laughs> you the bridge um, is okay. It's not going to fall. Um, the only thing Does I had. Say what really time the parade is. No, um, and all this data. No. 
I, I mean, I'm sure it is. I haven't, I haven't oh, read it. I did want to the ask. The only thing I wanted to make sure is, um, did Kevin, can you have Kevin review the bridge report? 1 p.m. So he, ha he is. He's just I'm back, sure. by the way. I'm happy to report he's back. That's wonderful. Yes, he looked uh, in good shape. And uh, that's wonderful. A lot of catching up to do. So, um, I, I, so I just, the only thing I was concerned about is that pier that where the scouring is. Um, it's not clear if um, the scouring has is, is substantially Which bridge is this now? This is still water bridge to report. Still water, right. Was, I don't understand the other bridge. Well, the problem is um, when you have the, uh, we have daily releases, you know, right. from the dams. Mm -hmm. It's like a 20, it's, 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 it's the a fluctuation is like a 20 year storm. Right. So you have 20 year storm <laughs> every day. And, and so there is some <laughs> damage, but what along the river banks, but and part of the river changes because it's a living kind of thing and all that kind of stuff. But on our structures, you have scouring, and, and the scouring it changes over time, and, and you really have to make sure it doesn't get too scoured underneath where you have potential for it. Right. It scours, and, but then you, what happens is you have the regular scouring that's like a daily 20-year storm, but then you have big storms, and then the big storms sometimes put the dirt back in. It sounds not... It's counterintuitive, but the bigger storms sometimes restore where the scouring of the daily mm -hmm. scouring happens. And so it's, it's the only it's kind of real on. input. We used to get the state police to dive team to come out and practice, and they used to take pictures for us on a regular basis. And um, we weren't able to do that once Blake Gilmore stopped doing mm -hmm. that. And um, so we never paid to have anybody come do it. And the state is supposed to inspect on a regular basis, and apparently that's when we had to shut down the bridge because right. they found all the thing. But they repaired the worst part. Well, they, I, I thought that was quite, this is a little sarcastic, but the way they, uh, we had to shut the bridge down, we couldn't even allow pedestrians crossing, but the first thing they did to test the bridge was to put a 90,000 pound cement mix in the middle of it, <laughs> turning his mix. And, yeah, we well, held up. Mm -hmm. and, yep. it, and it was shut down as soon as they were done the Did, I-91 bridge. I, I was I reading this parade thing real quickly, and, and, mm -hmm. and now I know why you want me to be here. This is a violation of the parade committee standards and regulations. It's <laughs> not the parade committee's intention I, to impose penalties on any individuals participating in the organization, <laughs> nor does it conform or does not conform Listen. to the rules of the committee. So now we got rules and regulations we have to conform to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? I have so no much. I have so much going on right now, and I, I just don't have time I, to, I to sort through it. This out. It's more words than anything. I'm, yeah, I'm going to need reading material the next few days. So, so okay, I will go over this fine tooth and comb, and make a commitment for I, us. I Thank will you. definitely commit to it. Okay, I'm gonna count on you guys. I just have too much going on. Um, I'm down with it. I'm going to take this one. Oh, do you want it? Or do you want me to? No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, I, 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 I would be relieved to pass that on to you. Um, I'm I, so excited for we it. We have um, the the MVP meeting next Tuesday. Um, you don't think that will be too long, do you? I have no idea. Um, and I didn't even look at my get a chance to look at my schedule That's as to whether I can even be there. Mm -hmm. program. Um, I was just going to get a printout of the contact list. Mm -hmm. And I to take home so I can work on it. I printed there's quite one a few out earlier. So. Okay, because okay. there's quite a few people that I can add. Like, I was just thinking uh, yesterday there was I, I went to the MACD meeting because I'm vice president, and um, it was our annual meeting, and there was a couple people there that we could invite um, that would be interested. And, okay. and I was just I'll give you that list. You can write people. on it and add names and yeah. whatever. Um, I wanted to add, um, I was asked, and I think I mentioned this a while back, to be on the FERCOG Personnel Committee. I was reassured by the member, John O'Rourke and others, we don't meet very often. So they are meeting Thursday, tomorrow night, and in a joint meeting with the Finance Committee. And um, I had some items that, that I have questions about that impact uh, Deerfield that I'm right. going to bring up and bring back oh, to you. Oh, that's wonderful. Relative to um, uh, this proposed shared HR program they're talking about. and. Um, the only other thing, um, the, and I don't have it because I forgot to forward it to Wendy. Um, I, I just didn't go on, really go on my computer today. 
um, was Steve Kulik has a bill um, that uh, before the legislature to um, make sure that the ratepayers do not pay a tax on the pipeline. And mm -hmm. so I just want to send a letter of support. Would that be okay from, from you guys? Ratepayers. Right uh, the the yes. electric, okay. la electric utility people, or you know, electric, us okay. as electric uh, ratepayers do not pay for the pipe to be built. You know, there's not a tax, pipe tax. Yeah, the, I think that's a good idea. But yeah. in, in all honesty, in, in any business, <clears throat> it's so, yeah. how can you say, easy to, to disguise, disguise that because, it. you know, yeah. they, yeah. our cost of operations is more. And, you know, there, but but they're regulated, page? so they do have to reveal that kind right. of information. Well, wasn't, but wasn't there I, a front I think page the bill's article number is 3,400 I have or no idea. Yeah. something yeah. like that. Was, it's whatever Steve Kulik put it together. Isn't there a front page article that ever sources? Is a class action suit about them over Oh, yeah. Well, what they did is they, they reserved pipeline space, so it looked like we had scarce scarcity of gas, and then they didn't use the gas. But some, I mean, that wasn't it's a complicated, the energy markets are complicated. And, yes. it, and it's, some of that is legit. Of course. And then, but I think they went overboard, and I think there's enough documentation to show it's overboard. So one other thing I want to mention that comes to mind, going back to this meeting we had with um, owners of buildings down, mm -hmm. downtown. Um, was that when we brought up the um, planner position, I, so far everywhere I've gone, people go, that's a great idea, and I see it's on the planning board agenda again. Well, we, we and, need to put um, a budget item. Well, for yeah, it. I'm, I want to, before I go, put, um, I have a job description, preliminary job description, and work up a um This would be benefit, like one of the few cost new for this. initiatives that we've had in like probably more than 10 or 12 years. I'm serious. We've not, we've always just been level funding, level everything, level services, level everything. This is like a new thing. Well, and, 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 actually and really part of it, it you know, part of it is the opportunity um, with, you know, I know and, I agree. and the I fact that um, Dick is, is shifting his mm -hmm. hours to one position and we need to fill that role. Um, and the growing need for well, assistance for to itself. our land use they, boards. And, and if they just write a couple grants, then... You know, or we get a couple grants, they'll pay for it many times. But, but over. okay, so the re reason I'm bringing that up is um, when I said, well, you know, we may have a February town meeting if we determine that we need to do something. Well, we have to. With the tax. Before March the, 20th. But, um, I but said before spring. other than that, I would, you know, it would be, my sense of the town is that it would prefer to put this position on the annual town meeting. And, you know, people say, oh, no, you need this right away, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just mentioning that as something to consider to actually, you know, do this earlier. When you come back, we're, we're talking two to, months earlier. We'll, we'll set up the annual town, I mean, the special town meeting, because we, we have to do that. We're going to do the marijuana, 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 marijuana tax. Yeah, I can actually I'm work on that while I'm letting us skip well, out so. on the <clears throat> collecting money on that. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying that? <laughs> so we'll do that when you come back. Um, what else do we need to do before you come? I mean, when you come back, um, you are coming. Back. Nothing. I hope when I get back, <laughs> there's nothing for me to do that you would have taken care of. Everything. Um, I said when I when I come back, I hope I have an office. <laughs> Just <laughs> listen. Do whatever. Put right. up a tent. Whatever. <laughs> we're, we're so thrilled that you're here, and and it's really thrilling. That's why I'm going. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's so thrilling right. that we're finally catching up and we're moving ahead. I, I, I feel Almost like we've been treading water for a couple of years. We'll see. Uh, you know, with reduced staff or no staff, we've been tre tre treading water for a couple of years. So this is wonderful. And we're up to full capacity. So. Yes, and Thank Key's you, wonderful. Key. Um, and, I want to I mean, say these are the that. best notes, most complicated notes I've this, ever seen. This is kind of the anniversary of when you started talking to me about coming to work here. And mm -hmm. um, You mean getting down on our knees and well, what for you? <laughs> Please go. You can say that. I'll, I, I, I won't say that on camera. I'm, I'm not shy. But I also, I have desperate. to say, given that it's, you know, dear in Deerfield time, that that had a profound impact on my decision. All right. I just was thank so you, Club. reminded yes, of the you. kind of things that small towns do. So many volunteers that, this, yeah, that's that's what I like to do. So. Well, um, thank you. I, I mean, I wish I was going to be I, here for that event. So. But, yeah, but no. it is. Well, they keep it lit. They they light them through the winter, okay. which is nice. Um, I have to get my own somewhere. Mm. I just um, we need a couple on the front lawn here. 
That's what you It's think. so nice. Yeah. You know, it's we all love our we it all is. love our community and it, it just is really nice. And yeah. So thank you. Because I know you believe in local community too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need that sticker for my new car. That's right. Oh did you, do you want another one? I have No, I, I got a lot <laughs> at the last MMA I had to clean up my through. dining room yeah. table for Thanksgiving, so I my car is oh. pretty full. <laughs> I have to make room for you. Right. <laughs> Don't put any horses in there. No. Oh, no, Tonka, Tonka's <laughs> not going anywhere. Tonka used to riding around in the back. Anyway. I'll have to, but I do, uh, I'll maybe Pat can sign me up for the MMA. I just, as soon as I have the operation, I'll be able to judge if I can go to that okay. MMA. But I, I think I want to do that well, if I can. Well, we're all going to be pulling for you. To work through And we're, we're all excited for you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. How it's wonderful. Me. This will be really exciting. New leaf on life. That's right. Oh. You're running a marathon before you know it. Oh man, that's <laughs> wicked cool. Okay, climb a NADMAC that. with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, so uh, next week so, and yeah. the week after. Do we have? So we have. Um, I just want to just clarify on the on the agenda. You have. Um, it should be December third. That's because I kept making sixth. that mistake for some reason. Third okay. day of the week. I don't know. So what we have about. is the MVP meeting here at two o'clock. Um, and that, and I should be okay because I got Homeland Security in the morning, and then that. What's the um, MVP? That's the Municipal um, Vulnerability Preparedness Grant that we got to pull. If oh, you're interested, to oh, bring us towards certification, we're so we're more eligible but, for um, culverts. One of one of the things that yeah. was kind of exciting yesterday when I was at the Mass Association of Conservation Districts, I'm um, vice president, so I had to show up. But um, we had our annual meeting, and. I, um, I found out, and I have all the contact information for Scott, Scott Hall, who is the new CEO of, Grant, of uh, Great Hydro, oh. who owns the dams on the Connecticut oh, nice. and the Deerfield. So I'm going to reach out to him um, based on, uh, you know, a couple people have reached out to him to tell him that I was going to... looking for him? <laughs> yeah, I was going to look for him. And I was going to invite him down here. And Great. we'll put him on the list for... Um, MVP. For the January 24th meeting. And, um, uh, but I, w I was very relieved to hear that he's a regular, good guy, good. and he's willing to work with us nice. and, c and come up with some That's um, emergency yeah, response of notification of something. Yep. They, they have the dams, it's true. They really don't have a lot of infrastructure for a response, but. They're willing to work with us, and I'm so moving on beyond the like PTO calling tree kind of right. level, which right. is making me really nervous. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Um, is there any message you would like to go to the finance committee for Tuesday night, we're, we're, or any of you want to go? Well, we're, sorry. Well, sorry. Tuesday. Well, I, I have the our Con uh, Franklin Conservation District in a meeting that night is up in Colerain. We're doing the mapping of the river. We're doing the mm -hmm. demonstration tool that we got funded for, grant funded for. So if people are, anybody's interested, certainly 7 o'clock up at Colerain Elementary School. And it's the North River down into the Deerfield. And it's... Cool. Um, They're mapping the river, they didn't know where it went? Uh, we have a tool. We, we hi were able to f hi uh, hire John Field um, geo, um, geomore. I, I, have just, to, <laughs> I have to think of it. It's geomore. Geomorphologist. Yeah, he's a river person, mm -hmm. river scientist, well, and he it? and he maps the river as far as what's happening on the riverbanks. You know, you were talking about the twenty years, the releases every day are like twenty year storms, and what what happens is you have movement of the banks, and what he does is map the banks, and you what you do is you are able to identify the vulnerability very vulnerable areas and that's the areas that you restore and mm -hmm. um but you restore them with natural like root wads and stuff like that and that does holds them, it holds them, holds them get, provides habitat for fish and naturally catches the silt so you, then you have and it's low cost kind of stuff compared to like armoring which just increases velocity and moves the problem down the river mm -hmm. so anyway it's, it's, it's actually very interesting, even though it sounds like I'm not very articulate explaining it. Um, but we're going to have the meeting on that and a presentation on that. So he probably uses Google Earth anyways. Um, well, they do. They actually go out into the, the, you know, the 
like a scanning device or something? Yeah, they, they actually go into the river and they are physically, I mean, that was what I was trying to get Great Hydro when they got the license transferred from, for, transferred the license from TransCanada to Great Hydro. Um, Great Hydro. I wanted new inundation maps because the inundation maps are pre-Irene and a lot of our riverbanks are, are eight to 16 feet lower from Irene damage. And so they're completely changed. So anytime we have an event, our, the, the, what happens is different from what it, was. What, what it was. And so you need to have, to me, when that license changed the license, they should have had an emergency well, isn't inundation most of the maps Well, the Deerfield updated. River from Shelburne to right here at Stillwater Bridge is pretty rocky all the way along. Yeah, but you still have movement of the banks. Really? Yeah. The, you really, you have, tree, every time a tree falls in, it pulls in a certain amount of stuff. And that's, you, you, you try to protect the trees from, you know, having a, a it gets to an air, well, it's just complicated. It, it changes over time, even the rockiest parts. Hmm. And, um, and they, and they s survey them, they, they update, they're required to do all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and for transfer the license without yeah. having that done. So well, anyway, storm, it, was, it was cranking, it was right at the edge. Yeah. It was a lot of water and well, the PA fields flooded, and, yeah. uh, which they always do, I guess. Well, it really is about 32,000 CF, 32, CFS mm -hmm. to cover Mill Village. Yeah. And then we get, once we get over 32, Thousand CFS at the West Deerfield gauge, then that then you start creeping on five and ten, oh, and yeah. you shut down five and ten what probably around thirty six or thirty seven. Yeah, it was up pretty high. It was twenty eight nine or yeah. something. But and that was what happened in June, June seventh was, right. and that was my big complaint to Mima was, look at we've had two events, we've had June seventh and October. and October twenty eighth or twenty ninth, yeah. whatever it was, and. What are you going to do about it? Right. You know, why am I calling up the river? Why am I, you know, right. if I'm not around, who's who's even yeah. checking? Right. I mean, I would get training you, but yeah. <laughs> but still, what are we well, going to do? Yeah. My <laughs> phone was going off all night, every, <laughs> every hour, binging with the uh, how much CF, you know, how much cubic feet per second are coming down the river. I know. Well, but she somebody should she, be somebody should no, be monitoring. I got, no, I would, I I signed up to to know, you know, when it floods. So anytime it's over 5,000, which I'm going to raise now that I know this, <laughs> to a higher number. But, you know, anytime it's coming down really high. You, know, you might want to do you, eight or nine. Eight or, or nine. Or then ten. You, yeah, because then you know, like, you may have an issue where those people got flooded out on still water. And, um, well, you're supposed to be doing some stuff, something. And, and nobody is calling us. Nobody is talking to us. At least, the you know, flash, I mean, how much The flash boards on the lowest dam went, and, and they just re finished repairing it yesterday. And, and, and there's no communication to us. And I found out about it because I went to a meeting and a guy in Buckland says, well, look, this is, here, this is look at this damage. He said, what are you going to do about it? And I'm like, I'm going to let Key go so she Yeah, can we're, we're, we're done. I mean, the thing is, that there's nobody that can really be held responsible for damage from stuff well, like that. Yeah, but they should have released, who's, who's making the decision to release down release. and draw down? That's they should have. We, we yeah. knew that these storms are coming. Right. So you they empty it early. they needed to empty early. And then hold on to it. And then hold on to it and have capacity. And Who, who's who's capacity. who's deciding? They they release even though they're maybe not making well, as much money. Well, that's what I was going to say. The yeah. good question is: Are the dams being controlled to control the environment or to control Make the money. profits? No, it's so, control you know. money. But we <laughs> we need to yeah. have reassurance that they are drawing down in the in a when you have plenty of, of warning. warning about weather it's going to make a situation. Because they'll make plenty of money letting it go after the storm, you know. Right. Yeah. So, well, they, they release it, you know, I mean, you want to maximize the need. Yeah. So, oh, you right. know, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you release it when they can make the most money. Yeah. But in a, when, when the bad weather is coming, so, somebody has to make a decision to lower it. Do we have public comment? Or oh, yeah. Any public, want, any public any comment? comment? Oh, thank you. Thanks for okay. coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah. You want a motion and to adjourn? Yeah, motion I think to we're adjourn. done. I'll second it. Um, good luck. Thank you. All thank those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
We'll, we'll be thinking of the Trevor. I appreciate that very much. I'm um, seriously. Which hospital are you going to? Tufts? 